head church. I'm Irene Gardner, and I've been part of the body of the Church of Sun Valley at Sun Valley for five years, and I gave my life to Christ in 2008. And my life verse comes from Psalms, Psalm 30, verse 2. Um, it's from David, and it's a psalm of thanksgiving. Oh Lord, my God, I cried out to you for help, and you healed me. Um, if we look at um, the first three verses, um, David fell very ill, and he thought he was going to die. So he prayed to God, and God restored his health. Um, this verse became my life verse um, because God chose to save me and heal me. Um, in 1993, I lost a daughter and I became very angry and very cold um, towards God. And I decided that I would take my life into my own hands and uh, I was in control now. And I went down the wrong path. And um, uh, this, this went on for a while. And as the years passed, I just became, began falling deeper and deeper into a pit of despair and hopelessness until finally, 15 years later, I was so hopeless that I was at the end of my ropes. And um, death was staring me in the face. So I cried out to the Lord to take me or save me, and he chose to save me. And that is why verse, Psalms, verse, Psalms 30, excuse me, verse 2 is uh, my life, life's verse. Also, I want to slip in another one. I know we're supposed to just give you one, but I have another one that means uh, so much to me. Um, and that's Psalms 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. And now, church, um, I praise God every day. I give him thanks, and I now do his good work in my actions, in my deeds, and in whatever he calls me to. I have been blessed beyond belief, um, and I give all the praise and glory to our Savior, my Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ. I wish you all well. Stay safe. It will be over soon. And just remember, trials are temporary and can never bring defeat if we stay faithful in our God. Happy Easter. God bless. My name is Brian Hansen, and I've been uh, a member of Sun Valley since 2014. So that's been about six years. And my verse is Psalms 46.1. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. And my name is Linda Hansen, and I've been going to Sun Valley church since 2014 also so i've been but i've been a christian since i was in elementary school and my verse is i can do all things through christ who strengthens me hi my name is don mayer hi and i'm sandy don and i have been members of the church of at sun valley for 13 years we joined the church when we first moved out here from new york in 2007 and we actually saw the sandwich board in the median, mm -hmm. and that's when we decided mm -hmm. that we were going to try this church, and we have not looked back. We were both raised um, in Christian homes and in churches. I was raised in the Anglican faith. My, fa my grandfather was a Baptist minister, mm -hmm. so we were raised on fire and brimstone, <laughs> and I did not realize or know about having a relationship with Jesus. I just thought there were a lot of rules and commandments and it was just really hard to keep. Uh, it was actually Good Friday of 2004. Living in New York, I was attending a Methodist church and on that um, Friday there was an altar call and I felt the urging of the Holy Spirit and I just had to go up and answer the call and I gave my life to Jesus. 
it was still a little bit of a struggle for me because I did not have any formal discipleship or anyone to really explain. And at the time, I really didn't have the support really of the family because they didn't know what it meant. You know, now you have accepted Jesus. How are you going to change? And sadly, I was a Christian on Sunday and still, you know, live very much in the world Monday to Friday. The, um, the verse that I learned back then and I still fall back on today is in Philippians 4, where it tells us not to be anxious and not to worry, but to go to God with everything and to thank him for what he has done. And it talks about experiencing his peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding. And that is a verse that I still hold on to because by nature, I, I worry. Okay, we'll fast forward. So we moved out here in 2007. And as I said, I'm a Christian on Sunday and kind of doing my own thing Monday to Saturday. Both of us. Yeah. And um, it was the summer, August 2008. I was watching the Football Hall of Fame induction ceremony. And I noticed that every single one of those men that went up to receive an award thanked Jesus first and they were bold for Jesus and again I felt that stirring in my heart and I knew I wanted to be bold for Jesus every day of my life so I went to church this Sunday and I told Pastor Ray that I wanted to rededicate my life and so he prayed with me and I did it took me about a year before I was baptized because I was still struggling from the Anglican faith figuring I had been christened so I was good but again through the teachings of the church at Sun Valley, I understood why I needed to make that public confession. Um, I was also discipled by both Ray and Pastor Daniel. God was extremely faithful and bold with me in 2009. He gave me a non-traditional ministry, which is called Christ-Centered Yoga. And he called me to teaching or offering Christian yoga. And what that means is that the intention of our heart is to worship him. And so when I offer that practice, we are worshiping and we're praising him. And the verse that he gave me during that time was from Psalm 37, 5. Commit everything you do to the Lord, trust him, and he will help you. So between committing and trusting him mm -hmm. and going to him in prayer and supplication and thanksgiving mm -hmm. when I become worried and anxious, those are my anchor verses that carry me through. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm Don, Don Mayer, and uh, we joined the church together. And uh, in uh, 2010, uh, 2010, I accepted the Lord as my Lord and Savior. And I was baptized by Pastor Ray Strauss. And uh, after that, I was discipled by Pastor Daniel Scott. And uh, one of the the verses that has stuck with me all my life is the, the prayer by Moses to his flock uh, when he said, Let the, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, both now and in life everlasting. And I use that prayer when I'm saying grace or if I'm at a gathering and someone asks me to pray, I usually incorporate that into the prayer. So that's the one that has stuck with me. You'll notice Don right away was baptized and discipled. He, yeah. <laughs> he was way more accepting than <laughs> I was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Didn't take long. <laughs> we love you all. We miss love you. you. Yes. And um, you thank you, Pastor Daniel, for giving us this opportunity to share yes. with all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.